Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Once again, thank you guys so much for your support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanna come on here and do kind of a breakdown. I don't know what we can call this, like an alleged series. Okay, so what's going on is this, okay? I have um, these two girls. One is a huge, you know, Nicki Minaj. She's a straight up barb. Um, and I love her to death. You know, she's always in my DM, sending me stuff. And I have another one who is a straight up hardcore Cardi B, Barty gang member. And I like both of these girls because they allow me to just make my videos, state my opinion on the topic at hand, regardless if they agree or don't agree. They don't slide in my DMs and tell me I'm ugly and I'm shaped like a pizza roll and I'm a bitch and a slut and I'm bald headed and jelly. They don't do that dumb shit that a lot of Barty gang members do and a lot of the barbs do, okay? Anytime I make a video about Nicki Minaj or Cardi B, you can be sure in the comments section I'm being picked apart, you know? okay? But I don't care. Most of those people end up getting blocked any damn ways, okay? So, in my last video I did about Cardi B, I talked about how supposedly what's going on is that she got into a fight with these two strippers. One is Bad G and the other one is Jade. They're sisters and supposedly Batty G was smashing Offset. When it first came out, it said that Cardi B and her friends had jumped her and beat her up. And then the girl made a video talking about, you know, I don't have no scratches on my face, you know, beat up wear and all this other stuff, right? So a lot of people have been talking about this. Um, so... Cardi B's fan came into my DM, and I keep her name under wraps. She's a really sweet girl, big Barty Gang fan, Cardi B fan, all that stuff. And she was like, T, there's some stuff in the mix um, that I want you to really look at. And so I've really been researching this the last few days just to get a proper perspective because one thing about me, regardless... I'm very unbiased, okay? I have no dog in this fight with this whole Nicki Minaj, Cardi B situation. I talk about the stories, I break them down, I give my commentary, and I move the fuck on, okay? But unfortunately, some of y'all can't seem to get a grasp of that, and y'all just think I'm hating on either girl, which is just insane to me, okay? So she brought me back a lot of evidence that's showing that, you know, there's more shit in the mix than what's being reported by the blogs, okay? And I wanna go ahead and break that down to everybody because one thing about me, when I get some new information, I'm going to put it out there and I'm going to be fair to both parties, point blank period. I'm not just gonna run with the narrative like everybody else and then just leave it at that. If there's more information, if there's information where things are not being consistent, where things don't make sense, I'm going to talk about it, I'm gonna put it out there, okay? So she hit me up the other day and she was like, there's more info to this. She was like, before all this went down, I follow Cardi B. I follow all of her stripper friends. Like she's been following all these chicks from Angels. I'm talking about for months, honey, okay? Star Brim, all of them. She follows anything Cardi B. And she was saying that the a lot of the other girls that were there that night were saying that Cardi B had nothing to do with this, that Cardi B did not, you know, beat up the girl. So this was before they went to TMZ. So what initially happened is that Jasmine Brand was reporting on this and Cardi B came in the comments section basically stating that she had nothing to do with this situation because we all know Cardi and Nicki, they both watch everything attached to their name on social media. They follow all the blogs, you know, they block people all the time. If you say something they don't agree with, all that stuff. So she saw Jasmine Brand posting something. This is what Cardi B had to say. So Jasmine Brand says, Cardi B may face a lawsuit after allegedly ordering beatdown of bartenders suspected with sleeping suspected of sleeping with Offset. So Cardi B writes, she says, Mama Barty got Nathan to do with this. She starts talking to Barty Gang 19. And Barty Gang says, shake my head, I love Cardi but on this topic, she accepted that he was going to cheat and now she's got to think straight now. She has a baby, is it worth it? It's only going to get worse. He's been having her looking foolish. Now it's not the time. She has too much going on that's positive. So Cardi B replies back and Cardi B says, shit's got nothing to do with me. Hoes got beef with bitches and just want to involve my name on a check. Never did I threaten them. That's something I know they can't prove I'm confident. 
So after Cardi B posted that, that's when her fan was in my DM and was like, I need to tell you something about another stripper that was there that I've been talking to um, and Nikki may be involved. So this is what they told TMZ the other day. Check this out. So TMZ is reporting that Jade and Bad Barbie are not strippers with their bartenders. And they're saying this. One of the bartenders, Jade, claims that Cardi B has been threatening her for months, claiming that she slept with her husband Offset. Jade claims that Cardi B repeatedly, repeatedly threatened her with violence on Instagram. And June, Jade's sister, Batty G, claims that they were face-to-face -face with Cardi at an Atlanta hotel. Cardi repeatedly threatened her with violence on Instagram. And in June, Jay says Cardi again accused her of sleeping with offsets, something that she denies. Then Cardi threatened them with physical harm. Jay says on August 15th, she got a warning early in the day that Cardi had targeted her, had targeted her for a beatdown. Later that night in Queens at Angel Street Club, Jade says five people associated with Cardi B viciously attacked her, grabbing her hair, punching her, hitting her with the ashtray, and causing serious damage. Fast forward to the wee hours of Wednesday the 29th, Jade and Batty say they came face-to-face -face with Cardi B at Angel Strip Club, and a group from Cardi's posse attacked both of them, throwing bottles and chairs at them and causing serious injury that required medical attention. The women have lawyered up in a big way, hiring uber-prominent Joe Tacopina, who tells us he's mauling over filing a lawsuit against Cardi and others. Taco Pina also says both of his clients are going to file a police report and Cardi will be named. To make it clear, neither woman says Cardi B personally laid a hand on either of them, but they said that she did yell, I'm a blood and I'll fuck you bitches up. Sources close to Cardi B also tell us that the rapper did not get physical with the women. All right, so that's what they told TMZ. So then shortly after that, the two sisters posted a picture on Instagram and they hashtagged it the good form challenge. And so Cardi B's fan took a screenshot of this and it surprised me because I'm like, why would Nikki be liking their pictures? Like, what the hell is that about? And then, you know, I went to go check to make sure it wasn't Photoshop because you just never know and I don't want to put out false information. But then I saw that the blogs were also reporting that, you know, Nicki Minaj is going around liking pictures of these two girls who are now potentially suing Cardi B, okay? On top of that, Nicki has also been liking their pictures on Twitter. Twitter. And then another Nicki Minaj page that's tied to her Queen Radio also posted on social media talking about, did you see these two girls? So it seems like Nicki Minaj and her peoples are now all of a sudden attaching themselves to these two girls, liking their posts, resharing them, bringing them more attention. So now this caused Cardi B to go off the other day on social media. And a lot of people are wondering what Cardi B was talking about. And this is what Cardi B was talking about. Everything that her Barty gang member was sending me in the DMs. Go, go ahead and check out this subliminal message that Cardi B had. And this is going towards Nicki Minaj and these two girls. Check this out. It's so funny to me when bitches fake fuck with each other because they don't fucking like Cardi. You know what I'm saying? Them hoes don't like each other. They will fuck each other, man. But since they don't like Cardi, they still gonna link up. Mad bitches link up alert. Mad bitches link up alert. Ah! You bitches be going to the Mad Bitches Link Up Awards where I hate Cardi B t-shirts and shit. Ha ha ha. You bitches be on a motherfucking laboratory, motherfucking building a I hate Cardi B transformer and shit. Like, let me see how I'm I gonna destroy this bitch. The fact that I be having you bitches so fucking tight, making y'all wanna pull y'all pussy hairs out, make my pussy motherfucking throb. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw that. So now what's even more crazy is that she basically told me that she started DMing one of the girls at Angel's nightclub that she's been following for a long time. And so she sent me the screenshots of their DM conversations and she was like, T, you gotta reach out to her. She'll probably be willing to talk to you and let you know, you know, what's going on. So I'm gonna block her name just for, you know, privacy concerns and everything else. But this is a conversation that she had with one of the girls. And this girl's not necessarily just cool with Cardi, she was there. So this is what this girl is saying.
so that's what she said in the DM. So then when I went to go Google the lawyer, as soon as you put in Joe's name and his last name, it comes up Meek Mill. So that is the same high profile lawyer that worked with Meek Mill. He knows Nicki Minaj very well. He even talked about Nicki Minaj on The Breakfast Club recently. So this entire situation is getting crazier and crazier. Um, like I said, I reached out to the girl. She basically told me that those girls were lying on Cardi B. So my whole thing is this, who amped these girls up? Because initially when everything came out, they were bragging about not having no cuts, no bruises, you know, they were acting like it was no big deal. And then a few days later, you know, obviously somebody's hyping them up. Like, you know what? You can run with this story. You know, here goes a lawyer. Now they're saying low key that Nicki Minaj may be behind this. And I wouldn't be really surprised because again, Nicki Minaj is liking their status. And that Queens radio person, whoever's running that um, particular profile, was adding Nicki Minaj and showing Nicki Minaj, you know, the two girls. So it just does not really look good. But again, all of this is alleged. I'm not saying that Nicki Minaj, you know, hooked them up with the lawyer is paying for anything. But that's the rumor on the streets. That's the rumor that's going on in the strip club. Um, and right now it's been a few days and the only video that's been put out there is just a video of Cardi B and Offset arguing. And then another YouTuber, I think for the people, they had a video on their page of Cardi B and Offset arguing. But till this day, there's no video footage of not only Cardi B fighting these girls or anybody fighting these girls. You know, I'm sure that somebody has to have the video footage. And if there was like a big brawl, the way these girls are saying that there was a brawl, that video will be put up by now. TMZ would have it by now. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video really quick of Cardi B and Offset getting into it in the club. Check this out. been motherfucking 15 and i want to see my daughter and i want to go to sleep with my husband but i gotta motherfucking work 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 all right so you guys just saw that video so like i said that's really been the only video that's come out um is her and offset arguing i don't know if she's arguing about the bartenders if they're arguing about something else you know so like i said it seems like there's a lot more to this story these girls may be clout chasing and trying to get cardi for her money but again this is why cardi b really needs to watch her moves because right now she's on a whole different level and once you get to a certain level it brings jealousy it brings animosity it brings envy and she needs to learn that you know at the end of the day She's on a whole new level financially. You can't go around putting your hands on people or green lighting that other people should put their hands on people because people will look at it as you caught the shots and they'll find any way to extort you and get your money. You know, when she didn't have no money, it was okay for her to be fighting on loving hip hop and throwing shoes. But now that she has money, she has to move differently. She has to keep herself out of certain environments, you know what I'm saying? And now that people are literally plotting on trying to get her money, maybe she needs to re think going back to these strip clubs going back to angels and things like that but like i said it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out it's going to be very interesting to see if a video you know ends up emerging of this fight but you know the streets are talking and people are now saying that Nicki minaj may be behind giving these girls lawyers and you know gassing them up to go after cardi so i don't know but this situation is getting messier and messier but i did want to put out this other side of the story i did want to showcase this as well and not just what the mainstream blogs are running with so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces
Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk